Uh, Guinea, uh, is it Guinea Bissau what? Sharing border of Cote d'Ivoire. We have some Russians there. And then in Togo. And they are buying, they want to buy the cocoa spot. They, they want to, they, 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 they sell spot. They have nothing to lose. They don't uh, spray, they don't buy chemicals for farmers. They are not providing any extension services for farmers, nothing. So they can afford to sell spot. When they get the cocoa, they go to the market, they can sell at $10,000. And our farmers are selling to them? It's not our farmers. We have, you know, national records in this country who are buying from the farmers. No farmer, no farmer can smuggle more than 100 bucks. Not even 10, 20 bucks across the border. No farmer. Because uh, ordinary a farmer will have who about 10 nations? bucks. You know the nation, these nation records who are... Uh, we are we've been arresting them. We've been, some have been imprisoned. And you know the minimum distance is five years. Five years, but still they're there. Coco so Bob. this year you are making losses? It's not from uh, April to September. So April to September? It's April to September, you know, we that is when we are migrating, transitioning from the main crop to the lack of. The volumes are not that much. Okay. And we felt, uh, <laughs> instead of um, letting our farmers suffer, because again, again, the national interest versus public interest comes in. Let you have people come in to buy cocoa cheaply, $1,800 from September. And then you come to April, you are selling the cocoa at the same price. And these miscreants, you know, they come in, buy the cocoa cheaply from the farmers, go and sell at very, very high prices across the border to, uh, you know, these black market people. They are, they are black marketing cocoa. For them to go and then make money out of that. So if we said, no, no, let's adjust it. First, you have the, you know, the structural problems. Climate change, of course, is number one. And then uh, illegal mining. Then of late smuggling is also another factor. All these are affected. But what has really affected our production significantly this year? Yes, well, our production is down this year, very, very down you know, can be attributed to what we call a Nino effect. Which is? El Nino. El Nino is extreme weather condition. You know, um, it's extreme uh, uh, heat waves generated in the Pacific Ocean. And depending upon where it is blowing, if it is, you know, uh, moving across dry areas, it will bring dryness. If it's moving across, um, you know, water bodies, it will bring wetness. And last year, unfortunately for us, whereas the Mediterranean, Spain and other places, uh, we had a lot of wildfires, we were experiencing excessive rainfall. Excessive. And cocoa doesn't lack too much water. When there is too much rain and the, the soil is waterlogged, the root hairs cannot, you know, uh, extract nutrients okay. too. So we lost almost every flower last year. It's only by his grace that we've been able to see even some crop now.